How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is 10.15 in the p.m. out here in uh, California. October 18th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity shows a 2.1 across the uh, Permian Basin there in Texas. Oil fields rocking and rolling out there uh, throughout the day today. Let's go ahead and start off here along the West Coast, see what we got going on. Not a whole lot of activity showing up here across Washington, but of course, uh, the activity that is maybe happening, uh, whether it's small or you know maybe above that level, probably won't show up until Monday morning. Uh, for the most part, they normally don't report anything above 2.5 out there, for the most part, across the uh, Washington and Oregon area. 495 epicenters of tremor. Slow slip events continue underneath the Vancouver Island ranges. That brings up uh, the total tally here in the last week, which has been pretty consistent. Uh, up to about uh, 2,921, a little bit down south there across Northern California, Southern Oregon. Uh, but I'd say if we go back the last month here, it's been pretty solid uh, in terms of slow slip events out here. We're looking at 12,564. Uh, for this month, most of it was up north here, a little bit down south. Previous to this, if we go back a couple months, it was mainly down south here. So we're filling in the areas that really haven't been filled in. And, uh, man, it's definitely hitting up here. No earthquake activity yet. No unusual activity uh, to note there across the Cascadia subduction zone for now. We'll give a quick glance here at Mount St. Helens. The uh, volcano up there in Washington. Been having a little bit of earthquake activity along with Mount Rainier. Mount St. Helens, a couple earthquakes out there. There's, that's definitely an earthquake. Uh, maybe some of these other ones, maybe deeper quakes or earthquakes away from the area. But uh, for sure, that's one earlier this evening. A couple out there uh, from late last night. Uh, I don't see any increase going on there. We'll double check Mount Rainier. And uh, take a look at this seismograph station. In the last few hours, a couple earthquakes, uh, maybe some ice quakes out there. Really nothing big. I don't see any increasing movement uh, aside from just uh, a small, uh, very small uh, earthquake activity out there. Very, you know, microquake activity is what they call it. All right, uh, Northern California, a handful of smaller quakes there today. Uh, a couple earthquakes on the, looks like it's right at the southern end of the Calaveras Fault Zone. Uh, not at that interchange area, but... Uh, uh, just a small amount there around 2 o'clock this morning. Nothing new to report there throughout the uh, the day. A couple newer quakes up here in the Pacifica area. I've got uh, a couple ones this afternoon, early evening. Nothing big across the Bay Area. It's been uh, a little quiet out there for now. Uh, one earthquake down there on the Parkfield section of the San Andreas Fault, but really nothing else to report there across the plate boundary. Further down south, uh, well, let's see here. 2.7 in Borrego Springs. That's in between the uh, San Jacinto and the Elsinore Fault. Really looks like just a typical day down here. I don't see any swarming going on. No unusual activity to note for now across the uh, Southern California region. Same for Yellowstone National Park. But uh, let's just check it out real quick. It only takes a second to run over here and check out the graph. And we're going to check out this one up here. There was a little bit of activity swarming up here late last night. That will not get added onto the USGS map until Monday morning after review. Uh, since then, though, things have died off there across that area. That's kind of happening up here around West Yellowstone or so uh, within that vicinity. Really nothing else going on here uh, in terms of uh, any major uptick or anything when it comes to earthquake activity. Now, the oil fields are definitely kicking up here in the last hour. There is a number of earthquakes in two and even the three range out here. There's a little cluster going on out here. Uh, we can check out the satellite view and show you guys what's going on. Quite a few oil pads out there uh, in the desert of Texas. May, uh, well, it looks like some wastewater ponds over here as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, just lighten up out here. There's another wastewater pond. There may be some newer. Um, pumping operations out here since the satellite imagery was taken but either way uh, a lot going on out there in the oil fields uh, nothing nothing big but watch for those occasional fours and even mid fives that take place out there all right let's look at the uh, bigger picture here of things see if we got anything uh, stirring up out here on this Saturday night a lot of older movement up here through the curl cam Chatka. 
Uh, one, here's that 3.4 from this morning. Nothing new to report out here for the uh, Japan area. Most of the newer quake activity south here in the Philippines around Papua New Guinea area. Got a pretty good cluster going on here of threes and twos. Watch that area because we've had you know, a lot of activity here recently in the last well, last seven days or so. Uh, seen some decent movement out here, 5.3. A couple other quakes out here as well. Um, the movement today looks like it's happening um, around where the 6.5 struck here about three days, or, uh, three days ago or so. Uh, but it's a little odd getting some increasing movement instead of it dying down. So it could obviously uh, turn into something bigger. We'll have to watch the magnitude level overnight. Some deeper quake activity here around the Java Trench. Notice everything spreading out away from that deep quake. Adding, uh, uh, well, the deeper quakes here add further strain here across that subduction zone. So we're getting that adjustment taking place there um, away from that deeper quake activity. Mediterranean region, a handful of quakes across the plate boundary there. Nothing big. One four-pointer up in Poland area from uh, early this morning, I believe. But aside from that, the Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things here. Middle America Trench got a four-pointer and some other threes out here. But just kind of a, uh, it's mellowed out here, definitely. Uh, seems like in the last 24 hours, as far as the largest movement goes, it, that goes to a uh, 5.4 there in the Philippines. A little cluster going on there, but let me see. Is any of this newer activity? Yeah, there is another 5.2 here, fairly recent, down there where the 7-pointer struck. This one was this morning, 5.4. That was last night, so a little bit of adjustment taking place there. We do have to watch that. You know, it's things come and go they could pick up in magnitudes and multitudes out here and it's quite possible not certain but you know a possibility that we could always see some larger activity out here just just got to be prepared you know with the amount of movement that's been happening around the philippines seven pointer down here a couple sixes working their way up the philippine trench pretty good cluster out here previous uh, to that seven pointer that struck so this whole area definitely under quite a bit of strain Got to watch the Manila Trench up here as well. We did have one earthquake on it earlier this month uh, with a five-pointer and a couple other earthquakes out there as well. All right, space weather activity. Uh, see if the roars are still stirring up out here. Look at that. It died down <laughs> completely. Um, go figure, right? As soon as the North American side there gets dark, and uh, we're hoping to see the auroras, everything closes up there. So it looks like... Uh, yeah, more than likely, that's probably going to stay closed in terms of the uh, aurora potential. Uh, it was lighting up there with the G2 class storm earlier in the day. Of course, those there across Europe and Asia area were able to see it. Over here, yeah, died, died off completely. Looking at the solar flare activity, now that the uh, sunspot out there, 42, what is that, 4246 that was out there? There's 4248. Uh, 4246 is just barely out. You can barely see it. Uh, no, since that's uh, gone off of the uh, earth-facing side, things have kind of dropped off here a little bit, back in the lower sea flare category. Uh, that coronal hole has since moved on over there across the western area of the sun. Let's take a look here at the uh, complexity model. Still 4248 here. It looks a little bit complex, but that's going to be out of sight, out of mind as well. And we are left with... Uh, some sunspots out here, 4257, 4256. I think right now, um, out of this group, maybe 4257 over here, there's quite a bit of intermixing of different colors indicating that polarity difference uh, in a sunspot. And that's what you look for when it comes to uh, uh, potential flaring activity. So we'll watch that group down there, 4257 mainly. Uh, the one to watch they're having they're showing this right now as a alpha um, class stable but I don't I don't see that 4257 looks a little bit more complex than that but hey I don't write those numbers I just report and observe the moon a little sliver about four percent illumination there if you can find it 
Aside from that, uh, flare threat, I'm issuing a 5% chance or less for an X flare just because of the uh, active region that's off the western limb now. Um, M flare activity, these guys show in 60. It's probably more realistically around a 40 or so. Just notice how things have kind of uh, tapered off here a little bit. A lot of instability there while 42, 46 was facing us, but now we're just kind of going down. Uh, taking a look here at the Storm Prediction Center. Do we have any uh, tornado activity today? Let's see here. Storm reports. Uh, 1018. I know there was a decent tornado threat out there. We got four reports of tornado activity. Uh, looks like in Arkansas, a little bit Louisiana, maybe one in Mississippi as well. Of observed on radar. Uh, multiple reports of a torna tornado on the ground. That's confirmed there near Hot Spring, Arkansas, or Hot Spring County, Arkansas. Some tree damage, uh, but it looks like mostly uh, some wind reports out there and some hail. Uh, that was from today, Saturday. Uh, now, that is continuing overnight, it looks like, early morning hours. That severe weather shifting further to the east. Now, on the day on Sunday, well, you know, Definitely moved further east over here, but looks like it's breaking up in terms of the severe weather concentration. There's a marginal risk maybe for some uh, tornado activity across the panhandle there of Florida. A little bit of wind and some, uh, well, no hail threat. Just a little bit of tornado and some wind potential there. All right, so watching this storm out here across the west coast, man, it, uh, it's a little disappointing because it looks like it's backing off in terms of the intensity for the northern California area. We were looking at a pretty decent heavy rainfall event out here on the 25th, but the GFS model is showing that uh, very weak. Another one behind that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that changes. That's a GFS model. If we go over here to the ECM WF model, it's even backed off a little bit as well. Um, I know this goes a little bit further than that. I was checking it out earlier. Hold on a second here. Should be up there, huh? Just barely. Either way, it does look like we'll get some rain. Uh, just not as much as what uh, they were originally planning out here. But again, it could still change. It's a ways out, right? The 25th? Yeah, definitely a few days out there. Uh, as far as hurricane activity goes, I, I was looking. I didn't really see anything of any major spin-ups here around the Gulf or the Atlantic. Maybe something over here well off the Florida area as we head towards the end of October but yeah I guess we'll kind of see what happens look at that massive low pressure system right here wrapping around cold air and snow who's ready for some snow out there I know if I lived out there I would definitely be ready everyone I talk to from you know back east or up in the plain states you know oh you don't know what it's like being up there you know it, you, know, you get snowed in man yes please thank you where do I sign up? That is my kind of weather. They can they can have all the sunshine and 110 degree temperatures out here in the summertime. Uh, you know we'll, we'll swap. We'll definitely swap for a year. All right. Um. Let's see here if there's anything else. I really think that's about it. Uh. Quick glance here at the seismograph station. They always go offline around this time, periodically. Uh. It looks pretty calm for now. Let's keep an eye on things out here. Just always be prepared. Pretty minimal day of earthquake activity right now. But the oil field's definitely squeezing out here, kicking up a lot of uh, earthquake activity. All right, I'm going to call it, folks. We'll see you guys back out here uh, well, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Sunday already? It is. Weekend goes by pretty quick, but that's all right. Sunday morning, uh, we'll see you guys out here for that uh, update after hopefully a restful night of sleep. I hope you guys get a restful night of sleep as well. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here in the morning.